What's up guys? I got another Lions War video for you. Uh, in this Lions War video, we'll be going up against BRG3. This is actually the second time we've faced them this season, and this is actually the last war of season two. So uh, I'll be bringing Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, Vision, and Blade. I won't be taking path six this war. I'm on path five because Vex was crying about how he ranked up Void and never gets to take no 24, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I don't know any of these nodes at all, <laughs> and I didn't read them uh, prior to this commentating. So um, I was able to hit up this whole line in, uh, in five go in five energy. It worked out really well. This first node, I think it has Pessimist on it. I'm not too sure. And it turns out being in Hella, uh, this Hella isn't duped, so I don't have to worry about um, her signature ability at the end of the fight. Uh, I don't have to wait uh, wait for that timer to get her down. Uh, her L1 is really easy to evade. You can mess up, but uh, I'm just doing a pretty good job of evading them. And if I don't do a good job of, of evading them, then my man Stark Spidey will auto evade it for me. And, uh, yeah, this last L1 does get it down. Uh, this next node is Power, Reser power Reserve. It also has Power Gain on it. Uh, I was expecting a Blade. The guy's profile did have Blade on it, and Blade wasn't on 24. So I wanted to bring OGV in this because I've seen really cool gameplay of OGV on this uh, against this power, power Reserve node. So it does turn out being a 565 Blade. Uh... And what the hell was I going to say? Uh, yeah, this is power reserve, so you only use half of your power for each special. And uh, this this node was really, really fun. Um, hopefully, I, uh, I stay on this path, because this path was a blast. So yeah, I do get a couple uh, nice stand-up intercepts against the wall. And he is going down pretty fast, even though this is a 565. He is... Uh, he is going down extremely fast. Uh, I'm loving taking, uh, I'm loving using Vision against this node, even though I've only used uh, him against this node once. But yeah, I got that, um, I got that double L1 in at the end to finish him off. It was pretty cool. Uh, this next node is uh, Masochism. Uh, and, and there's there's other stuff on it. I don't know these nodes at all, but I was it was a um, a mutant and it's a cable my kryptonite so Yeah, every goddamn war <laughs> There has to be a cable on my path no matter what path I take there has to be a cable But uh, I am baiting out the L ones pretty well I don't build up poise charges because I don't want to get back into the wall uh, his regen does kick on I got a really weird parry in there. I didn't mean to parry him. He's a little weird, a little funky. But uh, he is halfway down. I do drop my L2. And I get the shock damage on him. Uh, my L2 didn't really crit that well, but that's okay. Um, I get to build some poise charges off of that L1. And right there, his L1 did clip me. It was really weird. I didn't even, in the fight, I didn't notice that his L1 clipped me until the, um, until the full attack bonus screen came up. And it said I got hit once. I, I I went back and looked. I was it was really weird. I didn't think I got hit, but I I, I obviously did get hit. Oh, uh, this next node is the middle node. <laughs> Power gain, heal block, champion boost, and something else. I don't know these nodes. I'm really sorry I didn't read them. Uh, but it is an ice man, and I was expecting an ice man on this node. I don't know. I didn't I didn't heal up though, and I didn't put a um combat regeneration node. But I've watched a couple of uh, Camp ENT's videos, and he takes this path a lot, and there is usually an Iceman on this node, so I was expecting an Iceman. Uh, I'm building up a couple poise charges. The, uh, the Cold Snap is off of me. It did take off a decent amount of my health, but that's okay because I'm pretty sure that is the last, uh, the last fight I'll be using Spark with. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh... This next node is bleed, stun immunity, and something to do with armor breaks. I think every hit you apply to them gives them one armor break. I don't know the real name of the node, but that's what it does. Anyway, I got a really nice intercept in to start out the beginning of the fight. Um, 
I'm loving OGV. OGV is uh, so, so great. I don't know. I can't explain it, but I am loving using him. Uh, I am beating out uh, Bishop's uh, heavies, and I'm doing a really well, uh, really good job of doing that. Uh, I got another really nice intercept on him. Uh, I'm getting really comfortable with OGV. I haven't used him in a while, but now that I've been using him a lot, I am getting more, um, more comfortable using him. And yeah, this bishop is going down pretty quick. He has 38 uh, armor breaks on him because of this node. And yeah, man, he uh, he does not stand a chance. I'm trying to bait out another heavy. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to throw a heavy, but I do get another nice intercept to finish off the fight. So this next node is uh, the center mini boss. Yeah, uh, it's Plague Mine, Kinetic Reactor, and Limber. And it is a six-star uh, Thor Ragnarok. I wanted to bring OGV in this fight because I didn't want to heal up Spark. I don't know. I also want to use OGV more because I just ranked him and I'm having a blast using him. So yeah, I am trying to be really cautious of not intercepting this guy. Because if you do intercept Thor Ragnarok, he, uh, he can parry stun you. Uh, this node does have Plague Mind on it, so you can't really work around... Um, like right here, I was going to get another 5 hit combo and then drop my L2 and stop his power gain, but the Plague Mind hit and it really messed me up. <laughs> but uh, I do get an L1 down and I do power drain him. Luckily, my uh, my OGV signature ability is high enough and I was able to get that L1. And yeah, uh, Thor Ragnarok is really easy um, L1 to, to evade. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to do in this fight. Trying to just strictly evade his L1s, evade his um, evade his heavies, and retaliate after them. Uh, this is good placement because of the Plague Mind, but yeah, uh, I am getting a decent amount of hits on him. Uh, this node does have Limber on it, so I'm being a little bit cautious uh, every time I parry him. How fast his sun timer is going down? Um, he has 18 of those. Uh, those power gain charges, and when they get to 20, he does go into his power gain phase. So I'm gonna get a five hit combo, drop my L1, uh, power drain him, and turn off his power gain phase. OGV is great against um, against Thor Ragnarok, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm 74 hits in. Uh, this is a pretty long fight. OGV isn't. He's not Spark. He's not. He's not a. Uh, he's not gonna kill in, in 10 hits. But. <laughs> that's okay he has a lot of um a lot of great utilities the power drain the bleed and poison immune uh i'm, I'm loving loving using him so uh i do uh i do get the store ragnarok down pretty pretty easy it was, a, it was a pretty long fight but that's okay uh so i asked my battle group uh somebody called dibs on this morning star boss uh my alliance mate loki shout out to you bro thank you very much for letting me go uh go first against this morning star boss um so yeah big shout out to loki appreciate it man um i made a really really bad mistake in the beginning of this fight i boosted and then i healed up ogv i shouldn't have done that i should have healed up ogv and then boosted uh, I didn't record me boosting, but that's what I did. And I wasted maybe maybe one or two uh, health pots that I shouldn't have used. But it's okay. Um, this is a rank 4 Morningstar boss. Uh, and I'm really um, I'm really happy I got to take it. I'm really happy uh, I got to get some boss action in before the season is over. Uh, Morningstar is a really good boss. She inflicts, inflicts bleed on you. Um... I'm gonna solely drop my L2s on her because my L2s do a decent amount of damage, and I don't want to uh, I don't want to time out against her. So yeah, uh, right there, it's pretty pretty sloppy. I wasn't fast enough on my retaliation in before. Um, I'm sorry, after her heavy, and that's gonna that's gonna catch me uh, again later in this fight. So she is uh, she's throwing her specials. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty frequently. I'm happy about that. I'm happy she's not getting to an SP2 because her SP2 is a little tricky to evade. Uh, I got a really nice stand-up intercept against the wall against her, and uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going back and forth with OGV, trying to, uh, trying to get decent amount of damage on her, and also trying to power drain her 
before she gets to her um to her L2 or or her L3. So uh she's backed up against the wall. I got a nice little uh draft back on her. And she does drop her L1 again, and I do drop my L2. My L2 did uh, like five, uh, 5k damage. The more power the defender has, uh, the more damage your L2 is gonna do. So when the defender's at like uh, three, right there, I was really, I was really sloppy. I didn't, right there I got clipped. Anyway, uh, the more power the defender has, uh, the more damage OGV does on his L2. So like right there, uh, I did 7k. Um, when the defender has a full three bars and I drop my L2, it, uh, the most I've seen I think was 11, 11 K. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy I, uh, I was able to, to take this fight. There's only 50 seconds left. I'm, uh, I'm getting close to the end. Um, and she is, she is actually throwing her specials. Sometimes these bosses don't want to throw their specials. Like Dorm, Dorm never wants to throw his specials on the boss node. But uh, I am getting a decent amount of um, nice intercepts, nice stand-up intercepts against her after my L2 right there again. Freaking so sloppy on my part. Um, I was just, I just wasn't fast enough on my retaliation in after her, uh, after her heavy. But yeah, uh, 14 seconds left, and I do, I do get her down. So yeah, a uh, full attack bonus achieved. I am so stoked that I was able to. Uh, I was able to get a uh, a boss solo in uh, this season, season two. But yeah, man, we did win this war. Uh, big shout out to BRG3. Congratulations to all the MVPs. I hope you guys liked this Alliance Word video. Till the next one. Peace.